The induction training is based on the organic laws of provincial and local level government laws and administrative act. What councillors as the legislators in this third level of government must know their roles and responsibilities in order to deliver services in the districts. Basically, you will tell them this is where your rules start and where your rule ends and where the administration starts and where the administration ends and so they can walk. In harmony and community each other. One way is the reintroduction of the ward record book system so that each ward can have reliable data and information for effective planning and budgeting. So in that way, we will have reliable and up-to-date data so that we will know the real needs of our people in the community. The training is also a refresher for these village ward councillors. As leaders on the ground and who are always with the communities, they will carry out their duties like maintaining peace, law and order, doing community cleanups, water and sanitation projects, and supplying reliable information to the DDAs for service delivery. Church, me plan by building, uh, elementary school, me plan by building, clean up lo, roads, lo, me plan. This plan kind of community by clear na, learn this plan legally kind of them. The program is the initiative of the Mool by MP Koi Trape to recognize ward councillors for their services. A 1.2 million kina funding was made available for the 120 ward councillors to undergo the training and to put to good use their 10,000 kina for each ward. Our district administration, office of the member, we will make sure that the councillors are delivering small projects at their level. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.